Hey guys, this is Carnivore Kip, and you, my friend, are lucky because you're about to witness the absolute best, bar none, the absolute best jerky on YouTube when you're on the carnivore diet. There's no other carnivore jerky out there that comes close to touching this jerky, and I'm going to show y'all how easy it is to make it. And if there's one thing I've learned about being on the carnivore diet, we're not spending our time sitting on the toilet all day long crapping because we haven't been stuffing our face full of carbs and sugar. So we have time to do things like watch this video, hit the like button, subscribe. And since we have all this free time, without further ado, -do, let's watch this video. And I got this uh, meat from Costco. So let's uh, put some gloves on real quick. I'm out of my good gloves right now, so I'm having to use these little Walmart ones that are hard to get on. But let's put some gloves on and let's slice this up real quick, guys. And we're gonna be eating good later tonight. I'm gonna slice it thin and we're gonna make some jerky, y'all. And make sure you have your big bowl like this right here to put all your jerky in. But anyway, 20 pounds of beef. I'm about to slice it thin. I got my Dow Strong knife. This is my boning knife from Dow Strong. I love this knife. Uh, I've had it for a few years now. It's a wonderful Japanese steel knife. I love, because I cook a lot of barbecue and stuff, so I like having good knives like this. All right, so I moved the other two packs of uh, meat up here to keep them out of the way. And so these are twin packs. Um, and they're frozen steel not fully frozen but they're sort of frozen but that helps you when you're slicing your meat you could cut them this way but i want to cut some long ways that way i can have longer strips of jerky i want longer strips of jerky but of course on these ends it's not going to be you just got to take your time and work with it try to get you some jerky i need to get me a uh a meat slicer that would make this job way way easier and as i go i'm gonna just be putting it in this big bowl and when i get them all done then i'm gonna season them up So guys, just to keep it real with y'all, I just made it through the hardest part of making this jerky. That's 20 pounds sliced up of jerky. Now you're not gonna be, most likely you're not gonna be doing 20 pounds at one time. So my forearm is actually tired. I feel like I just went to the gym from having to slice 20 pounds worth of it and hold it still while I was doing it. So here's what's gonna make it easy for you guys. So normally to save some money and you can learn how to make rubs yourself, I would just mix up some salt and pepper. There's three ways you could really go about this. You could do just salt if that's what you want to do. Some carnivores do that. Uh, you could also make your own, which is uh, a cheap way of adding a little bit of spice and you know what clean ingredients you're using. But I chose to do uh, the TX rub from Killer Hogs. And the reason I chose this rub is because, which I, I, I do it with different other rubs as well whenever I do it, uh, but I chose it because it's pretty clean and it's probably pretty easy for a lot of people to find somewhere. I'll, I'll read the ingredients in it. It has salt, spices, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion, dehydrated parsley. Now it does say less than 2% of uh, soybean oil, uh, calcium something silicate added to prevent caking, okay? This is such a small amount of an oil because it's a dry rub, it's such a small amount of oil. It's not like cooking in soybean oil. But, and plus it's the last ingredient. So you can use this if you want to there are some other rubs i love the 1836 rub i love some other rubs 
but this is easy for you for you guys to get a lot of you can probably get this at walmart or you can get it on amazon you can get it a bunch of different stores sell it academy has it a bunch of different places sell this rub so the easy part now is i'm going to be mixing it up with my hand and mix the rub in there and then i'll see y'all at the pit and that is what's going to separate this jerky from what a lot of y'all are cooking at home and i don't say that in a mean way or anything but a lot of people use dehydrators and dehydrators are fine they're great they serve a purpose but you don't get that smoke flavor the way our elders years ago used to do jerky years ago they didn't have dehydrators but they did smoke meat and so whenever you smoke it and get that actual wood flavor and i could use my i could use my pellet grill here but eh, eh, i ain't gonna do that y'all finna see which one i fire up i'm firing up the big boy today so traditionally when jerky's made people will uh add marinades to it and all that we're not doing that i'm actually taking i'm gonna take this lid off of here because it's gonna take a lot of rub and that's what the rub looks like it's peppery salty looking color smells really good we're just gonna i'm gonna stand up start pouring rub on here and start mixing it into the jerky. Pour a lot, mix some. And then we'll come back in here in a minute and do it again. Wanna get this all incorporated into this jerky to give it some flavor. But really the flavor is gonna come from that wood smoker and the meat itself has a lot of flavor but I'm just adding a little extra love to it. I don't care if it takes me 10 minutes standing here doing this, get it mixed in. And you can put it in the refrigerator overnight and then cook it the next day if you want to. And it'll take a few hours. You'll know your jerky's ready when it's as done as you want it. Some people like it more chewy. Some people like it more, um, some people like it more brittle. The thinner you slice it, the easier it is to get brittle and it, it'll dry out more easier. But when you're doing 20 pounds of it like this, it's hard to get it really thin because it's a lot of work whenever you're doing so such a big batch and you're not using like an actual, you know, piece of equipment to do it for you. That it is cheaper to make it, make your own rub, but this video is about convenience on how to do it, but I'm not fitting to show y'all and make just a small batch. I'm actually sending some of this to a couple of my subscribers, one of them that has become a really good friend and then their friend, and then I'm also going to eat some of it too. So this isn't just for me today, but I'm excited to be out here doing it. I'm not going to quite use the whole bottle. There's still about that much in there. I think that's probably going to be enough. See what happens when you use cheap gloves. This glove has ripped. These are these Walmart little gloves and they, they suck. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're out here at my trailer pit, my offset smoker. I got some wood in here in the back and I'm fixing to light it for y'all. But I want you to remember something whenever you're cooking jerky. I know we say we're cooking jerky, but you're really not cooking it. You're drying it out uh it's just slowly heating up and drying out the moisture inside of it so technically jerky is raw it's not cooked you just think it's cooked but anyway we're gonna fire up my shirley my offset smoker and then once we get it fired up we're gonna keep our temperatures low as possible around 150 degrees is the sweet spot you can go up to 175 but definitely keep it under 200 degrees because you don't want to cook this stuff you want to let it slowly dry out and it might take two hours it could take four hours but that's just all part of it you'll know it's done when it's the texture that you want it to be and it's going to be phenomenal all right so i got my weed burner lit now let's light the smoker. Might take a couple minutes to get it lit good. You can put charcoal underneath it to get it lit even faster, but 
I'm using less splits and I want it to come up to temp slowly because I don't want it to end up being like 300 degrees or anything like that. So I'm just trying to get it warmed up. Now with this smoker, I could, I could cook back here if I want to. And then, but I'm gonna just go ahead and put it all in the main chamber. Now I have four levels of grates here. One here, here, one underneath and one there but we're probably only going to need two of these levels of grates so let's go ahead and take us some jerky let's take our jerky and put it on here some of it probably going to fall through that's just because it's that's the nature of it let me start with this and spread it just want to spread it out Spread it out. We're gonna let it get that smoke on it. You wanna spread this jerky out so it'll dry out good. Don't get in a rush. Even when, no matter what you're cooking, don't get in a rush when it comes to barbecue. You'll mess everything up when you get in a rush. What other carnivore channel do you know that's cooking like this? Huh. I can't think of another one whenever I watch different channels. They cook, but they usually cooking inside or when they're cooking outside, they ain't cooking on something like this. All right, let's go to the next rack. And I could fit more there, but why not put it here? Dump it down in there. And then spread it. Just like this, just spread it out. And that smoke is the difference on your jerky. That smoke is what makes it incredible. You could put it in a smoker like this and you don't even have to put seasoning on it if you don't want to. You, could, you don't even have to put salt on it. It would be, still be good because it's getting that smoke flavor. And that smoke flavor, that's where it's at. All right, let's shut her down. Not night, baby, go to sleep. Tell her not night. Not not, Shirley. All right. We cooking now. Now the only responsible thing for me to do now while this meat is on the smoker is to go change clothes and get in the pool. So I'll see y'all in a little bit and I'll check on this meat, but I'm probably gonna add one or two more splits of wood before I go. But I'm finna go get in the pool because I was outside slicing this jerky. I was outside seasoning it. I was outside putting it on the smoker and it's super hot down in South Alabama. So I'm finna hit the pool, baby. Guys, I just can't do it no more. I can't take this 96 degree weather. And before you people out in Texas and before you people out in Arizona, New Mexico, say anything about your 105, 110 degree weather, y'all are missing the, the point now. The point is the humidity here is insane. Like it doesn't matter if it's only 96 degrees, it is screaming hot and you sweat and pour from the humidity. And guys, I can't take it no more. I just can't take it no more. Oh crap. Okay, I'm better now. <laughs> This is how we're looking right now, guys. I'm soaking wet. I just got out of the pool, and but the pit's running even all the way across, and it's running about 175 degrees. But anyway, here's the jerky. Let me pull the camera in. It's cooking. Just got to give it time. Let it keep getting that smoke flavor. Well, since I'm just sitting here waiting on this jerky to finish smoking, I guess this is about as good a time as ever to uh, thank a few people that have done some amazing things for me recently and I wanted to give a shout out to Jamie E because Jamie E sent me some collars that's going to go on a barbell uh, to lift weights with and thank you so much for doing that Jamie also I believe uh, I believe her name was Jessica Beach she actually sent me a gift that I didn't know was coming she sent me this walking gear it's like a bag that you can put uh 
your water bottle in and different stuff like that and she sent it to me to my uh, P.O. box and thank you so much for doing that I wasn't expecting that and also there's an anonymous subscriber that has basically built me a home gym I mean they bought um, the power blocks and a bar a barbell they bought a power rack for me the power racks coming in and a few uh, maybe within the next week and I went to tractor supply yesterday and bought me some rubber floor mats to put down in my room so my studio is not gonna look like a studio anymore now it's just gonna be like a home gym but I mean I decided that the home gym to me is more important than just having the studio right now I'm still gonna have a, a studio kinda and I'm still gonna have my picture on the wall that says the fat in my family tree ends with me but I want to get some lifting in and you know learn some different things and get stronger as I continue to lose weight um, I haven't lost as much weight as I would like this past month but I'm also gaining muscle at the same time that I'm trying to lose weight because I can feel it my arms feel like they're getting tighter and I just I just feel like I'm putting on muscle my legs even feel tighter and that's from all the walking that's from all the swimming that's from all the lifting I've been lifting weights like uh, basically every other day and I'm learning some new routines. I ran into someone the other day that I might talk, uh, mention later in a video that uh, said that he might have some pointers for me on um, on how to properly lift weights and things like that. But I just thought it was a pretty cool update. Uh, but I, I'll say the last time I weighed in for y'all I believe it was I was 420 pounds I think I was 420 pounds uh, today I'm 413 pounds so that's down another what seven pounds or so but that's with going out of town for the weekend and going to a wedding and uh, you know eating too much cheese that week and and stuff like that and I'm still having progress and I'm lifting weights and all this other stuff this is a new life for me guys and um, the past three or four days I've been leaving the cheese alone it, it, cheese is a battle for me because I love that stuff but I'm working on it and getting better and I'm feeling great on carnivore I'm feeling the best I ever have and I have more energy to do things that I never thought possible I'm just gonna keep doing it let's get back into this cook probably about three hours later and we still burning us a good uh, fire in here I just put these two more splits because my coals were getting a little low so we still cooking y'all so guys this might be the end of this cook I uh, pitch running 175 on both sides right now but let's check it and see what we're looking like I think we're looking like jerky, y'all. I think we're looking like jerky. Oh yeah, baby. That right there is good. I hope y'all approve of this jerky because man, I'm excited about eating some of it and sharing some of it with some of my friends. That's what this carnivore journey is all about. Meeting people, eating good food, and becoming lifelong friends. And I might go hit the pool again, so we'll see y'all later. God bless all y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Try smoking you some jerky. If you, ain't got a, if you ain't got a smoker, then try just making you some of your dehydrator. Or you can do it in the oven as well. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for all y'all do for me. God bless y'all like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think about this cook and if you'd eat this jerky or not love you guys god bless